everybody and welcome back to Video Game Esoterica. On this week's episode of On a Technicality, we're going to be finishing up our Beast Buster Second Nightmare Jamma Conversion and playing a little bit of the game, show you guys that it all does work. Before we get into that, if you could do us a huge favor, just go down below and hit that like and subscribe button. It takes a lot of effort to make these episodes and we really appreciate it. So on the top there, what you're looking at is the Jamma Harness. You're going to see that there are two different sections for power. We have 5 volt and 12 volt leads, as well as the corresponding grounds that go to those. Additionally, we have a couple other harnesses coming off there. We have our audio, plus and minus, as well as the ground on that. We have our RGB, sync and ground for video. And then we have our coin, test, and other kind of arcade cabinet specific buttons that we're able to coin up the game, we're able to go into the test menu, and we're able to kind of change the settings from there. On the bottom, we have that DB15 female connector. The large plastic connector is going to go to the trigger, the start, and those other kind of control buttons. And that single row is going to go ahead and function for the potentiometers, our XY data, basically being able to aim the stick. So that is everything that we have made to convert this over to the JAMA standard. So over the course of the episodes, we were able to build that DB15 flight stick harness because Beastbusters use that gigantic plastic cabinet mounted gun. You do have to convert that over to something that has the XY corded input. So that was a lot of fun just being able to show you guys how to take a flight stick and convert it, the data at least off of it, into something that Beastbusters would understand. And in the end, we were able to create this custom one-off harness that allows you to plug a flight stick directly into the Beast Buster Second Nightmare PCB and have full control of the game, just like you would if you owned the original arcade hardware. So that was really a great experience to be able to build that from scratch and be able to plug that gun in and have the game work 100% without that heavy duty equipment that I just don't have access to or space for. Additionally, we showed you how to build the JAMA conversion for Beastbusters, and this isn't specific just to Beastbusters, Second Nightmare, obviously the pinout is, but as far as converting non-JAMA standard games to JAMA, as long as the JAMA Edge has the inputs you need, you certainly can do this. It's normally done with the retro games from like the early 80s before JAMA was a standard, but you can totally do it on hardware like Beastbusters, Second Nightmare. We were able to build that video area and show you guys how to plug all those wires into the plastic JST housing so that you could take that custom video out RGB sync and ground and bring it right onto that JAMA edge so that you could output video onto a super gun or onto an arcade monitor and play it straight from the board connection without having to cut any wires so that was a lot of fun to be able to understand how to make that harness and get that video out into my system and in the end, after putting all those different power leads and everything else on there, we had a complete conversion harness to be able to go ahead and pop in a Beastbuster Second Nightmare and play it on our television. So, showing you guys exactly how everything works, we go ahead and bring in that DB15 harness, we hook up the trigger and other buttons into the bottom, and then we're going to go ahead and bring that potentiometer data in that single pin harness right into the top of the PCB. From there, we're going to go ahead and plug in the JAMA harness. We're going to put our video area in. That's that 9-pin connector right there, and that's going to control all of our video signals. We're going to go ahead and bring our coin, our start, all those kind of other operational buttons in as well. Then we're going to bring in the 12 volt. Actually, no, that's the sound. We're going to bring that sound data in from that connection right there. That way we're going to be able to get sound out. It isn't amplified, but it does work pretty well. We're going to bring that 12 volt section for the sound in on that harness. And because I don't have availability for that four pin VLJST connector, we're going to plug in each individual pin, ground and five volt in separately. I will be getting that connector in the future, but it is back order. So in this instance, this is how it works. And I will kind of in rev two of this harness, be able to put that back in there just so that it works a little bit easier than doing what I'm doing right now. So the last step is just to bring our controller in. We're going to plug the male end into the female harness, and that's going to give us complete control of Beastbusters Second Nightmare. So when we plug it into our super gun, we are 100% ready to play. You will see I check my inputs just to make sure that my trigger and other buttons work and I have data off the potentiometer. We're good to go on that. So we'll just go ahead and reboot the system. It's gonna go ahead and just give you some of those checks showing that everything's running well. We got a good video signal coming out. And now we have Beastbusters Second Nightmare converted from a gigantic arcade cabinet and playing in my living room with a DB15 flight stick, a super gun and a custom harness. 
I've enjoyed every step of the process and showing it to you guys, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I will have some gameplay footage coming up of Beastbuster Second Nightmare in the future. Otherwise, if you could do us a huge favor and subscribe and hit the like button, this has been the largest project we've done for Auto Technicality, and we definitely hope you enjoyed it, but that subscription and like helps us out. Just kind of rewards all that effort that has gone into this massive project. Otherwise, we'll be back on Tuesday with another episode in the main series, but we will keep doing Auto Technicalities. But thanks so much for watching. We hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.